What is up, Nation? Noah here back again today. And in this video, we're going to be talking some WWE 2K22. The news is coming hot and heavy. We're getting on the road to the video game. So today, I want to give my final roster predictions for the video game. Now, before we get in to the roster, I want to say basically what I based my roster for this game off of, which were a couple of things. One, the showcase mode, being Rey Mysterio's showcase mode, who I think is realistically uh, could show up in there, you know, for some past ECW, WCW, even WWE matches. So there are some legends that may be a little bit fantasy and maybe a little bit out there, but I think since they're not really signed, some of them will get to that, to major promotions. I think they could possibly show up in the video game. So that's one uh, part of it. And then the other part is, when it comes to all the releases that we have gotten in the WWE, what I decided to do, because there's obviously a cutoff date, right? At some point it was, you know, cut off. The roster is the roster. We can't keep pulling people out because of the releases. So what I decided to do was base my roster off of September 1st, 2021. This game got officially released, or excuse me, officially announced with that initial trailer back at SummerSlam on August 21st. So what I decided to do was base my roster off of September 1st of this year, assuming that the announcement was the cutoff. Let's just say, I'm, guess, I'm guessing, I'm assuming, I'm making my own, you know, kind of prediction here. Assuming that was the cutoff, I decided to base my roster off of the September 21st, 2021 WWE roster for main roster NXT all that stuff so when we go through here I'm going to point out who has been released whose contract has expired who I think can still make it into the game the only exceptions to that rule are the people who have jumped to AEW so far so for instance Adam Cole Bobby Fish Kyle O'Reilly I believe that now they're now that they are with AEW WWE and 2k would go out of their way even though if there was already a cutoff date to pull them from the video game. So that is my only exception. If they have jumped to AEW, I do believe WWE would go out of their way to have 2K pull them names from the video game. But like I said, my roster that I'm going to predict here today is based off two things. The September 21st, 2021 WWE roster, since I assume there was a cutoff, and the fantasy names that I believe could show up in the Rey Mysterio showcase mode. So we are going to get into all that, who I think is going to end up on this roster, my predictions, what I would like to see. Let me know what your WWE roster uh, predictions excuse me for 2k22 would be down below some of the you know maybe fa fantasy outside names legends wise who do you guys want to see end up in the video game let me down below let me know down below excuse me in the comments make sure you like comment and subscribe turn those notifications on so you never miss an upload a podcast or a live stream here on the channel and of course go follow me over on instagram at noah nation vlogs without further ado guys let's get in to my wwe 2k22 roster predictions All right, guys, so my WWE 2K22 roster prediction. So what we're going to do is I kind of categorized everything. So we're going to start with the men on the main roster. Then we're going to, going to go in, excuse me, to the women on the main roster. Then we're going to go to NXT, the legends, and all that good stuff. And I'll, like I said, I'll go along the way, pinpoint the people who have been released or their contract has expired or when it gets to the legends who I would have in there, specifically for the showcase mode. I'll get into all of that. But without further ado, guys, let's kick it off at the top. The men from the main roster who I believe could make it in to the WWE 2K22 video game. Alrighty, kicking things off, we have AJ Styles, Akira Tozawa, Angel Garza, Angelo Dawkins, Apollo Crews, Baron Corbin, Big E, Bobby Lashley, Brock Lesnar, Cedric Alexander, Cesaro, Chad Gable, Commander Aziz, who would be his first video game. I'm, I'm gonna forget, you know, for some people if it's gonna be their first video game, but for him, I know it would be. For the next guy, Damian Priest would also be his first video game. Next, we have Dolph Ziggler, Dominic Mysterio, who's already been confirmed, Drew, uh, Drew Gulak, excuse me, Drew McIntyre, Edge, Elias, Eric from the Viking Raiders, Finn Balor, Goldberg, who I counted in the uh, you know the current roster. Next up, Grand Metalik, who has been released. So he's not uh, you know signed anywhere you know major, so I believe he can still make it in the game. Humberto Carrillo, Ivar, Jackson Riker, who has been released, Jeff Hardy, who has been released. I do believe will make the cut in the video game. Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, Jinder Mahal, John Cena, John Morrison, who has been released. Karrion Cross released, Keith Lee released. Uh, those were all part, I believe, of the November releases. So pretty late, in my opinion, uh, depending on when the cutoff was to get these guys pulled to the video game. So I do believe they'll end up in there. Kevin Owens, Kofi Kingston, Lindsay Dorado has been released. Mace, uh, MVP, I believe, will be back in the video game. Mansoor, 
Montez Ford. As of a few days ago, Mustafa Ali requested his WWE release. I don't know if that has been officially confirmed, but he's on his way out um, from the WWE, but definitely way too late to pull him from the, uh, from the roster, I assume. So Mustafa Ali, I think, will make the cut. First time in the game, I think we'll see Omos. Uh, next up, we have Otis, R-Truth, Randy Orton, obviously. Uh, we have Reggie. Rey Mysterio, obviously, is the cover star, so going to be in there. We've already seen him. Rick Boogs. Ricochet, Riddick Moss, or Madcap Ross, whatever, or Moss, excuse me, whatever we're calling him. Uh, Matt Riddle, Ridge Holland, Roman Reigns, uh, Robert Roode, excuse me, skipped over Robert Roode there. Ro Robert Roode, Roman Reigns, Sami Zayn, Seth Rollins, Shanky, Sheamus, Shelton Benjamin, Shinsuke Nakamura, T-Bar, The Miz, Titus O'Neil, Veer, and last but not least for the men on the main roster, Xavier Wood. So that is 67 names. Uh, from the main roster men who I believe will end up in WWE 2K22. So now let's get into the women from the main roster who I believe will end up in the video game as well. All right, kicking things off, we have Alexa Bliss. Next up, we have Asuka, Bailey, Becky Lynch, Bianca Belair, Carmella, Charlotte Flair, Dana Brooke, Doe Drop, uh, Eva Marie, who has been released, but I believe, again, she was a part of the November releases, so I think too late. Uh, Lacey Evans, Liv Morgan. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if Lacey Evans still, she's still employed by the WWE. I don't know what she's doing, but she's still there. Uh, Maurice, Mia Yim, who has been released, but I think will still end up in the video game. Naomi, Natalia, Nia Jax, I think will still end up there. Nikki Ash, Rhea Ripley, Sasha Banks, Shayna Baszler, Shotzi Blackheart, uh, Sonya Deville, Tamina, Tegan Knox, who has been released, Tony Storm, who was another one uh, pretty, like, what, two, three weeks ago. Uh, left the WWE and then got her uh, release, so I think she'll end up in there. And last but not least for the uh, main roster women, Zelina Vega. All right, so that's it for the main roster. So now we're going, going to jump, excuse me, to the men of the NXT roster. Now, this is pretty interesting because NXT has gone through a lot of changes. Obviously, the roster has changed dramatically. But again, I'm basing this off of the September first 2021 WWE rosters. And when it comes to NXT 2.0 and a lot of those names like Braun Breaker and whoever the hell else, <laughs> you know that is on that roster right now i do believe that they could do maybe like a dlc pack for some of those names some of them uh very few of those names i still did put on here i forget i have to look through it as i'm you know talking here but some of them who are already kind of appearing on nxt before nxt 2.0 i still ended up here you guys will see the roster in a minute but as for some of those really new names that have just been on nxt 2.0 and haven't you know were not a part of the black and gold era before september 1st uh, i do believe that maybe they could you know do a dlc pack for something uh, for some of those guys i think that would be really good but anyways let's get into who i believe uh will be on the nxt roster wise for the wb 2k20 two video game uh, men wise all right first up we have austin theory who is still down in nxt at the time of filming this we have cameron grimes carmelo haynes who is uh you know pretty much an nxt 2.0 guy but he was an nxt uh beforehand so i think he could end up in there danny birch who has been released dexter loomis drake maverick who i believe he has been released as well fabian eichner isaiah scott who has been released uh Aijin dragonoff from nxt uh uk i did throw in some of the uk names just in this list because i wasn't going to do a whole separate section so you'll see a few of those names in here uh james drake joe keen wild uh jordan devlin johnny gargano who obviously his contract expired but he hasn't showed up at aw yet i do believe he's probably on his way there in a couple of weeks however it still might be too late to pull him from the video game and his contract just expired you know a couple of was a right before christmas so i think he'll probably still end up in the video game uh that remains to be seen though we have kashida la knight marcel barthel or Bartel, whatever his name is, Mark Andrews, Nash Carter, uh, who I'm a big fan of, Oni Lorcan, who has been released, Pete Dunn, Raul Mendoza, Roderick Strong, Samoa Joe, who has been released yet again, Santos Escobar, Timothy, Timothy Thatcher, excuse me, who has been released, Tommaso Ciampa, Trent Seven, Tyler Bate, Wade Barrett, I think would be awesome to be in the video game, kind of like as that NXT, uh, you know, member of the roster, and also as a legend, I think would be sick, obviously he's on NXT, uh, commentary now i think it'd be an awesome little uh, legend uh, guy to have in there wade barrett in the video game be cool next up you have walter wesley william regal who has been released but i do think that would be an awesome name as well he was the nxt general manager have him in there kind of as a legend uh, obviously just a very recent release along with like samoa joe and some of those guys but that would be an awesome name to throw in there just you know kind of a fun prediction to throw in there and then last but not least zach gibson so some of these names like i said have been released some of them are from the uk and some of them you might be saying, I really don't think there's going to be that much NXT talent in the video game. And that is potential, but 
Why have I've always said this about the video games uh, 2K over the last few years, and that's they should try to have as many talents in this game as possible. So I did a pretty bulky NXT men's roster because all these talents were in NXT for quite a bit, you know, have been there for a while, obviously disregarding, you know, the release and stuff like that, just talking kind of like September 1st and back. And I just think they should have as many talents as possible in the games. That's why I did kind of a bulkier list. This isn't everybody on the NXT roster. Like I had everybody from the main roster in there. This is just a good chunk. So that's why, you know, some of those names ended up in there. Now getting into the women from NXT. So we'll kick it off, uh, obviously, again, from September 1st. We have Alaya, Beth Phoenix, who I wrote down here, not in the Legends, but I think she can make it in here. Obviously, she was on NXT commentary, but either way, she'll end up in the game, uh, you know, as a Legend or something like that. Candice LeRae, Dakota Kai, Ember Moon, who has been released. Frankie Monet, who has been released. Indy Hartwell, Io Shirai, Kaylee Ray. Mandy Rose, Ra Raquel Gonzalez, excuse me, uh, possibly, and I don't know if this will definitely happen because she was only ever a manager in NXT, but maybe they'll put her in here. Uh, I wrote down Scarlett, you know, maybe, uh, obviously she has been released, but if anything, she'd probably just be in here as a manager. If not, maybe they'll just pull her from the roster if she was there. She never wrestled in NXT, even though she does wrestle also, but I don't know. I just thought I figured I'd write her down because it's a possibility. So Scarlett, even though she's been released, uh, Zia Lee, and last but not least, Zoe Starks, who was the NXT Tag Team Champions along with Io Shirai, um, I believe sometime in the last year. So had to throw away in here. But anyway, that is it for the main roster as well as NXT. So now let's get into probably the most exciting names in this list. Because obviously the main roster is the main roster. You pretty much know who's going to be in there because pretty much everybody from a certain time period is going to be end up in the video game. NXT is like you're probably going to get half, you know, usually. As for the Legends, it's always interesting to see what Legends are going to be in there. Obviously there's, you know, guaranteed names every year. But there's always, you know, some different names that get thrown in there here and there and now is when we're going to start getting into some of the people who i think would be awesome additions to put in these showcase mode now real quick i will say chris jericho cm punk fill in the blank who everybody else guys who Rey mysterio had iconic feuds with during his his career i do not believe will end up in the video game guys who you know are in aew now i think they're too big of names they won't end up in the wwe video game because they are in aew however i do think there are some exceptions you know we've seen uh, you know, over the last few years, DDP, Jake the Snake Roberts, we've seen action figures released of both of these gentlemen. There's probably a few more names that I'm forgetting, but action figures released of both these gentlemen. Both of these gentlemen are signed to All Elite Wrestling, so I do believe there is some exceptions that WWE will make, uh, regardless, or not regardless, but uh, depending on your status, maybe, if you're a legend or your active competitor, whatever the case is. So there's only like one, I think two names that are technically signed to AEW that I threw in here, but you guys will see um, that they are related to the showcase mode which is why I put them in there, and they are not active competitors on the AW roster. So we'll get to them when we get to them, but nonetheless, I put the men and women together in this list. So this is the men and women legends and alumni that I think, and uh, you know, also from the showcase mode, that I think will end up in WWE 2K22. Let's get into it. All right, first up, we have Akeem. Next up, Alundra Blaze. Andre the Giant, Bam Bam Bigelow. Of course, got to have him in here, whether it's for the showcase or not. Dave Batista. You got Big Boss Man, a name that I think will be awesome to show up in Rey Mysterio Showcase mode. We'll get to that in a future video. That'll be Billy Kidman, um, which would be awesome. I believe he's a WWE backstage producer, if I'm not mistaken. So he's still technically a part of the company. Uh, you have Bob Backlund, The Boogeyman, Booker T, Brett the Hitman Hart, Brie Bella, British Bulldog, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, Cactus Jack, Chavo Guerrero, who I would have in here for the showcase mode, obviously signed to AEW, but not an active wrestler. So, you know, a little bit fantasy, but you never know. We have China. Next up is the other talent who is technically signed to AEW, that being Dean Malenko. Also, would I would have him a part of the Rey Mysterio showcase mode. Well, again, we're going to talk about that in a separate video, which I'll talk about soon. But let's finish out this Legends list first. We have Diesel, Doink the Clown, uh, Dude Love, excuse me, Dusty Rhodes, Earthquake, Eddie Guerrero, Excuse me, who I would have in this video game anyway, but, you know, obviously we're going to have him in the showcase mode. And this, this list isn't including, uh, you know, a million versions of everybody. Like, oh, I'd have all Stone Cold Steve Austin from 97 and then 98 and then, you know, like, not like that. I'm just naming one, you know, name uh, per, you know, character. And then obviously some guys will have multiple attires and stuff, but I didn't put, you know, all those little details in here. But moving on, we have, of course, Hulk Hogan. Kane, who I would possibly have a part of the showcase mode as well, which we'll get to that again, but this guy would probably be in the video game anyway. Same thing, JBL could possibly have him in part of the showcase mode, but still, nonetheless, would probably be in the video game. Next up, Hall of Famer, Jeff Jarrett, I think would be an awesome feature for the video game. 
Next up, let's, let's run through some of these here. Jerry Lawler, Jim the Anvil Nineheart, Joey Mercury, who I would have a part of the showcase mode. We uh, next up have Junkyard Dog, Hooventude Guerrera, who I would have a part of the showcase mode, Kevin Nash, King Kong Bundy, Kurt Angle, who would be in the video game most likely anyway, but I would have him part of the showcase mode as well. Lex Luger, Lita, Mankind, Mick Foley, Michelle McCool, Mr. McMahon, Mr. Perfect, Mr. T, I think would, you know, is in the part of the WWE family. He's getting action figures and stuff all the time. So, uh, you know, he'll probably end up in here maybe. Nikki Bella, Papa Shango, you ready for this one? Psychosis, who I would have a part of the Rey Mysterio showcase mode. The Macho Man, Randy Savage, Razor Ramon, Rick Rude, Ric Flair, who technically, you know, released as of a few months ago, but I think, still think we'll end up in the video game. Next up, you have Ricky the Dragon, Steamboat, Rikishi, Road Dog, who I believe was recently, like last week or whatever, uh, was released, but I think we'll still end up in here. Next up, Rob Van Dam, Hall of Fame last year. He's getting an action figure. I think you got to have him in the video game. Uh, RVD in 2K would be awesome. Roddy Roddy Piper, Rowdy Roddy Piper, excuse me, Ronda Rousey, I think you can get in here, Ron Simmons, Sabu, a part of the showcase mode, Scott Hall, Sergeant Slaughter, Shane McMahon, Shawn Michaels, Sid Vicious, Stephanie McMahon, Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Godfather, The Great Khali, The Honky Tonk Man, The Hurricane, The Iron Sheik, The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, The Rock, Tori Wilson, Triple H, Trish Stratus, one of my favorite names coming up next, Ultimo Dragon, who I think would be a part of the showcase mode, Ultimate Warrior, Umaga, who has been in a WWE video game in God knows how long, I think that would be an awesome legend to have in the game, Vader, Yokozuna, and last but not least, X-Pac. Now, a lot of legends in this game, and I would put, this is just me personally, like going back to, you know, putting as many people in the game as possible, Anybody who you can possibly get in this video game, absolutely stack up that Legends roster, man. And another name, uh, I think I said Jake Roberts. I don't know if I did. If so, I'd probably try to have him in here. But Diamond Dallas Page, another guy that I mentioned earlier, um, if you can have him in here. Obviously, like I said, signed with AEW technically, but maybe you can get him in there. But dude, anybody who they can possibly have, Hall of Famers, WWE alumni, people for the showcase mode, get them in here, man. Bulk up this roster. This is going to be the first WWE video game in over two years. People want the best. And I think you could literally have a roster. I, uh, if you're playing GM mode or U universe mode or something, you could literally have it be nothing but legends if you can, let's say, G in GM mode, you know, change the roster that you want to use. But the amount of legends that I tried to squeeze in here, making sense, using them a part of the showcase mode, realistic names. Uh, I think, you know, you should definitely pull out all the stops, you know, people who are still in ties with the WWE family, anything you can do, man, stack up the freaking roster. And to talk about the showcase mode real quick, some of the names that I mentioned, Psychosis, Ultimo Dragon, Joey Mercury, whoever else, right? I will be doing later this week, uh, a couple of days from now, I think it's going to be Thursday's video, maybe Friday, not sure, but it's coming later this week. I will be doing a video predicting every single match in Rey Mysterio showcase mode, how I would do it, realistic matches, realistic names. I did 20 matches, I believe, uh, which I thought was very realistic based off past showcase mode. So coming later this week, I will be doing a video predicting every single match in the Rey Mysterio showcase mode. So stay tuned for that. And you guys will get a little context to some of these uh, names that I have in here, like Psychosis and Chavo Guerrero and whatnot. But stay tuned for that video. It's coming later this week. But yeah, guys, that is how I would do the WWE 2K20 roster obviously this is all predictions this is fantasy at the end of the day we don't know who's going to make the cut we don't know who got pulled because of releases or because of AEW or what legends they can't use the license to I don't know any of that this is all just predictions based off you know past information and trying to make an educated guess so let me know down below in the comments who do you guys want to see end up in WWE 2k22 legends wise who do you guys want to see a part of the Rey Mysterio showcase mode all that good stuff, realistic fantasy, I don't care, drop it down below, let me know in the comments section. But overall, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, turn those notifications on so you never miss an upload, a podcast, or a live stream here on the Noah Nation YouTube channel. And of course, go follow me over on Instagram, at Noah Nation Vlogs. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later this week. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!